So recently something crazy has happened in AI. Elon Musk has actually filed an injunction to halt OpenAI's transition to a for-profit organization. If you aren't familiar with the background of this, essentially Elon Musk was the one that basically created OpenAI with his funds. And of course, OpenAI currently isn't basically a charity anymore. It's a company that is seeking profit. And Elon Musk is basically saying that, look, I am really trying to stop this because this doesn't make any sense. So there are four key things that I want to dive into in today's video that'll basically give you the rundown of exactly what's going on with Elon Musk's lawsuit against Sam Altman and OpenAI. So this is where we get into the first thing. Now, the first thing is pretty crazy. I don't know of any company that really did this. I guess it kind of makes sense from a business standpoint, but it's pretty crazy considering the, you know, venture capital space. But the fun no competitors thing is basically where OpenAI, anyone they have like a personal disagreement with, they're basically saying that you shouldn't invest in those companies. So basically during OpenAI's October 2024 funding round, where Microsoft invested 750 million, OpenAI said to people, we'll give you an allocation so that you can invest money in us, but we want you to be involved in a meaningful way in the business so you can't commit to our competitors. Basically stating that, look, you aren't allowed to invest in any other companies that compete with us, which is pretty crazy. I've never really heard of that before. I'm sure it's not, you know, really standard practice, but this is something where, you know, Elon Musk is basically taking a look. This company is engaging in anti-competitive practices. And one of the craziest things about this was the fact that some of the companies have actually listened to this stuff. It says that the fund no competitors has directly caused harm to Musk and X.AI. Musk has verified that at least one major investor in OpenAI's October 2024 funding round has subsequently declined to invest in X.AI. And it's obviously harmful to deprive X.AI of investors, particularly during this crucial and formative period of growth in the generative AI market. And this is really true because if companies manage to lose out during this period, I'm not going to lie, guys, it's not going to be a good time because if you lose during this period, when generative AI is booming, and I mean, you can establish market dominance in certain areas, like ChatGPT is the go-to now for chat conversations. And I mean, other areas like 11 Labs, they're pretty much the voice AI. I mean, during this period, you really need money and capital so that you can actually buy compute. I mean, the crazy thing about all of this is that if you're depriving X.AI investors, it's pretty crazy because recently Nvidia spoke about how they don't even have enough chips. Like there's just so much demand for their chips that literally sold out until like 2025 or late 2026, something crazy like that. So if they don't have any money, they are just going to be completely losing the AI race, which of course could lead to a monopoly by OpenAI and the likes of Microsoft. Now, what's crazy about this, okay, is um, we also had the fact that like it was confirmed that OpenAI was asking investors to avoid other startups, including Sutscover's safe super intelligence. So of course, you can see here, this one dives into, it says the list of companies includes rivals developing LLMs such as Anthropic and Elon Musk's X.AI. And OpenAI's co-founder, Ilya Satskova's new company, Safe Super Intelligence, is also on the list. So this is something that is completely crazy. Now, we get into point number two, which is, now this is where we have the anti-competitive stuff. We're basically stating that, look, they're benefiting from wrongfully obtained competitively sensitive information or coordination via the Microsoft OpenAI board interlock. So of course, if you haven't known, Microsoft do, I think they currently sit on the board of OpenAI. I'm not sure if they currently do or they were removed. I do think they did actually leave the board, but since there was a big fiasco, I know that Microsoft really just wanted to hop on the board, but Elon Musk is arguing that, look, this is basically anti-competitive. We have all like these two companies, you know, basically rapidly just dominating market share. And this is maybe an anti-competitive practice. You can also see here, it says that plaintiffs and the highly concentrated generative AI market are being damaged by the extensive amount of competitively sensitive information that Microsoft wrongly obtained from its service on OpenAI's board. Basically stating that, look, Microsoft was able to gain so much information from its, you know, time on the board. And this is, you know, sensitive information that it shouldn't have access to. So it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy at what they're alleging. But the video, honestly, it's going to get worse because there's more details that I honestly didn't even know. And I was like, whoa, this is some crazy stuff. So let's take a look here, okay? Basically, one of the main things that it talks about, okay, and this is point number three, is that it talks about how OpenAI's path from a non-profit to a for-profit behemoth is just, you know, pretty insane with anti-competitive practices and flagrant breaches of its charitable mission and rampant self-dealing. And, you know, allowing this course of conduct to continue until final disposition will seriously harm plaintiffs and the public at large, which is, of course, pretty true. So if you don't know, the story goes that this company was started as a for-profit 
it was started as a charity and thus charities receive donations. So because it was receiving all these donations, it managed to survive. And you know, that was essentially the promise. We are a charity. We're going to basically open source everything that we get. And anytime we do get these tools, we're basically just going to give them out for free and research projects for the good of humanity or, you know, basically for the good of humanity. You know, it's like, okay, you know, you give us money, we'll research AI, we'll make sure it's safe for everyone because we don't want these giant companies to be profiting from it. Now, of course, in 2024, this company is now like, hold on a minute. Um, this thing is really profitable. We want to change our company to a for-profit structure. In fact, if you didn't know, OpenAI actually want to take this company public, which means you'd be able to buy shares of OpenAI. And of course, Elon Musk is like, wait, I gave you guys money and this is what you guys are doing. You can see right here that it says Musk absolutely made clear that his donations, which established and sustained OpenAI for years, were conditioned on Altman and Brockman's firm commitment to operate as a non-profit and devoted to the public good. But of course, they have violated practically every single term of these commitments to Musk and the public. We can see here that, you know, they talk about in the emails that how, you know, Altman and Brockman responded with their firm commitment that OpenAI will remain a non-profit and based their express representations, Musk donated no less than an additional $10 million in cash alone. Basically, it's taking a look. Elon Musk asked these guys, okay, are you guys seriously going to make this a non-profit or are you guys going to do something else? Because back then, Altman and Brockman actually spoke about this becoming a for-profit, but Elon Musk was like, no, I want to stay a non-profit. And then, of course, based on this alone, he gave them $10 million. And now you have the situation where they are for-profit. And of course, Elon Musk is notably upset. I mean, I would be upset if someone changed their decision with regards to what they're doing. Now, of course, you guys can see here that Elon Musk is furious, as anyone would be. He says OpenAI is going from non-profit to maximum profit is a total scam, which I got to be honest, I understand that the chat GPT situation is a unique one, but I mean, it kind of makes sense. Like if you start out as a non-profit, you can't really just transfer to a for-profit because that is something that, you know, a lot of companies would just do at the start. So I do completely get where Elon Musk is going. Now, of course, he does talk about, you know, this is a pivotal moment. And of course, if other safety focused AI startups are going to lose crucial financial support during a pivotal moment in the development of generative AI. Now, point number four is pretty crazy because I didn't even know about this kind of stuff, but there is a lot of personal gain for Sam Altman. And Elon Musk is basically stating that, look, this is something that is incredible. Like Sam Altman is just raking in money from these investments that OpenAI are doing. So I made the wrong caption, but just read this, okay? It says OpenAI itself faces additional irreparable harm from Altman's self-dealing. He's basically saying that Sam Altman has self-interest in certain companies. It says, for example, OpenAI's decision to license content from Reddit has generated hundreds of millions in personal profit from Sam Altman. Meanwhile, he refuses to license content from sources where he lacks personal financial interests, such as the New York Times, which has resulted in multiple lawsuits. Altman is, you know, a guy who invests in a lot of companies. But basically, Elon Musk is basically saying that, look, Sam Altman is only investing in companies where he's already got, you know, millions of dollars invested so that when OpenAI strikes a deal with that company, their stock prices, you know, skyrocket. And this is, of course, something that has happened. Of course, you can see Sam Altman's Reddit stake now is worth over, you know, a billion dollars after the post earnings pop. And he's basically stating that, look, this is something that isn't just a one-time thing. Because if we actually do take a look at this entire list here, they actually showcase seven, I think it's either seven or eight different examples where Sam Altman is doing this, which is pretty crazy because it says, um, Altman has engaged in or in preparing to engage in self-dealing transactions, forming for-profit entities, attempting to convert it to a for-profit structure. And if we take a look at just the companies which Sam Altman has already had personal investments in, and of course he's connecting those to OpenAI, it says, you know, contract with the Rain AI, he's got material interest in, contract with Humane, contract with, you know, Limitless, you know, causing OpenAI to prepare a contract with Helion Energy. Of course, you know, Stripe, um, you know, uh, you know, he's creating an open AI power device, the Reddit deal. So a lot of people are now going to be kind of skeptical of Sam Altman because Sam Altman's always maintained that, you know, I hold no equity in open AI. You know, I make no money from this. But of course, you know, there are certain things that are happening, which makes it seem like, OK, Sam Altman is actually gaining a lot from this. So it says none of these self-dealing transactions fall within the exclusions provided in this code. They are not an action of the board fixing the compensation of a director acting of the corporation. Basically stating that look that this is self-dealing and this is pretty much illegal. So 
Um, when we also do look at safety here, you can see that it talks about how opening I received as a non-profit, you know, commitments for the public, basically public commitments, saying that, you know, we're going to make this technology for the benefit of humanity. But of course, the serious safety concerns raised by former open AI employees um, are pretty incredible. And this is all because they're racing to produce products for the pursuit of profit. And this is actually true. People that have left OpenAI have, you know, directly said that OpenAI is just pursuing profit at this point and then no longer focus on safety, which I've got to be honest, okay, like this seems like a pretty strong suit. And I'm not a lawyer, but I mean, a lot of these points are really hard to dispute. So overall, you know, Musk is basically just asking the court to issue a preliminary injunction to stop OpenAI from doing these four main things. Of course, you can see here, he says enough and that is enough. Number one is basically stopping OpenAI from blocking their competitors from getting investments. Number two is stopping OpenAI and Microsoft from sharing competitive information throughout their board arrangements. Number three, um, of course, being converting, you know, stop them converting from a non-profit to a for-profit company, which is violate, violating the original purpose. And of course, number five, which no, number four, stopping OpenAI from making all these personal deals, which is going to, you know, really just increase Sam Altman's financial gain. And basically they're stating that, look, we need to speed this up as quickly as possible because we need to pause these changes before irreversible damage is done. Enough is enough. So Elon Musk essentially wants to press a pause button on OpenAI's major corporate changes and certain business practices until the full case is held in court. So it will be interesting because January the 7th, 2025, I think that is just, you know, a, you know, a little over a month from now, we're going to get a decision on what, not, not a decision, it's actually a hearing. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens on that day. Now, let me know what you guys think about this. I think this actually makes sense. Elon Musk isn't just a vindictive person. I think some people are stating that, look, you know, he wanted this for OpenAI. And now that he's, you know, falling behind, he's trying to make them slow down. I guess you could say that. But I mean, honestly, certain things also do make sense here. So, I mean, I guess it's 50-50. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video.